Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to mod your Silverlit X-Twins remote to support batteries and an external power supply. This little airplane is cheap, durable and a lot of fun, even for beginners like me. With this mod you don't stress the remote's batteries when charging your plane and you can quickly switch between battery and outlet power with the flip of a switch. This mod will not only save you some money, but give you more battery runtime on your remote. You will need a 9V DC power supply, a 2 kilo ohm resistor, a switch with 6 pins or something similar and last but not least a male and female connector for your power supply. Now open up the remote control by removing the antenna, screws and batteries. Here you can see three cables coming from the batteries, plus 9V at the top, plus 45 in the middle and ground at the bottom. Desolder the red and white cable and solder them to the switch's two middle contacts. Take two pieces of cable, preferably red and white, and connect red to the top and white to the middle contact coming from the batteries. The red one goes to a contact on the same side on the switch as the other red one we soldered before. Repeat this for the white cable. It should look like this now. The next step is attaching the red cable from the female connector piece to the remaining pin on the red side of the switch. Solder the black or negative cable coming from the female connector to ground at the bottom of the battery case. Now take a 2 kilo ohm resistor so the one end to the remaining pin and the other to the 9 volt red cable coming from the connector. If you are having trouble keeping up, you can find a schematic and a how-to on my website here. It seemed that the charger part of the remote runs on 9 volts and the emitter part on 4.5 volts. That's the reason why we needed a resistor providing a lower voltage than the 9 volts coming from the external power supply when not running on batteries. Solder the male's positive or red wire to the 9V power supply's positive cable and do the same accordingly for the black or negative wire. Cut a little notch into the hull for your switch and female connector socket, glue them in place and test everything before screwing the remote back together. Enjoy your modded remote! You can switch between battery and external power whenever you want to and you do not even have to take out the batteries when in external power mode. Just connect the external power supply and charge your plane. Now go outside and conquer the air. Stay tuned for another video on how to install position LEDs for some night flight adventures. Subscribe at the top, visit my website at the bottom and enjoy more how-tos and projects in the middle. Thanks for watching and keep doing it yourself!